Hey folks, just a quick Monday morning video here. Uh, some folks were asking how to generate images to send to their agents that they run on Steamship, send them to Telegram, send them to the web client. Uh, it's really easy. I'll show you both how to do it with Dolly, uh, kind of a DIY auto Dolly, and then also wrapping it in a custom tool that adds your own custom prompt. Uh, so this is the hackathon starter. This is running in VS Code. All I'm gonna do, I have this get tools uh, method right here. I'm just going to uncomment generate image tool. That's going to enable the agent to select a tool to use when I give it some input. Let's just run the agent on localhost. It's going to run in the terminal uh, to see what that does. I'll click that I want to use the agent. Uh, I want to paint me an image of a purple cow. So when we look at the agent executing, it's now going to, before responding to you first, decide if it wants to use a tool. Uh, it decided it wants to use the generate image tool, which is what we just uncommented right here. It's going to give it some input, a detailed Dolly prompt describing a purple cow. It's probably some prompt hacking we need to do to get that uh, detailed Dolly prompt bit out of there, but it'll probably work nonetheless. In the console mode, when you're running it on dev, you're gonna get this really long, gnarly URL. That's just like a publicly signed S3 URL. So if I view that, here's the image of a purple cow that it gives us. Um, if I were to ship deploy this um, or run python deploy.py in this project, then it would just send the image straight to your chat client. Um, let me show you though how you can do custom uh, image prompts. So we had, at the hackathon last week, we had one person that wanted to do um, album art in, uh, in their agent. And so they wanted to import a Spotify list and then auto-generate album art. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, what I would do, I, I haven't done this I haven't done a trial run, so I'm, I'm guessing that this is gonna work, but we'll see. Um, this is where the image tool is defined, right here. And you can see it has a, you know, a name, a description, uh, a plugin handle that we're gonna use, this generate image tool. I'm just gonna copy this file and then paste this file, and I'm gonna call this album art. And then I'm going to give my tool uh, a name, so generate album art useful for when you need to generate album art for a new record, for a record. I'm just gonna say useful for generating album art. This description is, is tricky. You have to write it in a way such that the agent's gonna need, know that it has to use this tool. So input a description of the album that needs art. Output the UUID of a generated image. Let's leave that just as it is. Then here I'm gonna say from dot image, import image, generate image tool. And then we can get rid of this, generate album art tool, tool used to generate album art from a album description. And then Really, we're just gonna say self.tool equals generate image tool. We're just gonna wrap that generate image tool. We're basically gonna wrap a prompt around this thing. Um, Self.client, we're gonna give it the client. Uh, is single input true, run. Okay, so here, this prompt is going to be, if, if the LLM grocks this description correctly, this prompt will be the description of the album that needs art. So what we're gonna want to do is say new, or, so let's say image gen prompt equals, um, make it an F string, I suppose. Album art 4K high def, oh, I don't know, pop art, um, professional high quality. What are, I, can't, I can't remember any of the, the tricks folks use to get good uh, images out of Dolly. Um, maybe award winning, Grammy, platinum. And then we're gonna pass in the prompt. So that was prompt right here. And, and we're hoping that prompt is going to actually describe the album itself. Okay, so then, gosh, I mean, I think at this point all we say is return self.tool.run image gen prompt. We're just wrapping a prompt, basically. That's all this is. Okay, so generate album art tool. We need to, from dot album art import, we need to export this thing from index, not technically necessary. Uh, and then we're gonna say album art tool right here. 
So this is now we're back in the agent. Sorry, I should be describing what I'm doing as I do it. Uh, we're back in the agent. We're importing the album art tool that we just created. I'm going to comment out the generate image tool. I've now replaced it with the album art tool. And let's click run again and see what happens. So I'm going to run the agent. Uh, paint or make me album art for a record about what would be silly uh, a, a man for a Jimmy Buffett record for a Jimmy Buffy Jimmy Buffett record about living on the beach in the Cayman Islands. Let's see what happens. Not found tool. Okay, object has no field tool. Um, tool. Any, uh, I suppose we can do that. I'm actually impressed. Why did Python do that? Um, I wonder if this has a base class. Oh, yeah. Oh, this must be a pydantic thing. I think that's a little smarter than Python usually is. All right, let's try rerunning it. And I'm going to copy and paste the prompt because I don't want to type that again. What's the problem now? Get tools, validation error, field required, type. Generate, okay, so I've done something else wrong here. Hmm. Oh, what a bummer. I was I was thinking this was going to be a really smooth video. Let me let me paste that in one more time and see. Okay, it says one validation error field required type equals value error. Oh, but what's missing? Oh, tool. Okay. And where are we here? Guys, I'm terrible at reading Python stack traces if I can make that confession to you. So this is in Album art, okay. Oh, this is again a pedantic thing. Okay, so I guess we just need to do this. I, this is what I'm guessing just for folks following along. So this extends a, a pydantic object. Pydantic is kind of like a model definition system for Python. I think because we didn't make this optional, it's requiring us to provide it in the initializer, and I'm pretty sure it's going to do the, uh, the setter for us. So I think this is really just it trying to be super strict about validation. This, this pydantic library is used a lot of times if people want to like parse user input or connect to a database or something like that. All right, so I'm hoping we, we are good to go now. Um, oh, come on, has no attribute client. Oh, of course. Famous last words. Okay, we're really good to go this time. Here we go. Agent, paste, entering new agent executor chain. All right, let's see if this worked. Okay, generate album art tool, action input, a beach scene with the palm tree, maybe a pirate ship in the distance. Yes, and Jimmy Buffett himself in the foreground. I love it. All right, so the generate album art tool should be running right now. It should have wrapped the prompt. It should have fed that prompt into the generate image tool, which in turn is just calling out to Dolly. So let us look and see. Not bad. Now, you know what's interesting about this is I, I didn't quite... Uh, write the prompt, the wrapper prompt, in a way that would make it obvious that that wrapper prompt had run. But if you just trivially inspect the tool here, let's go back to album art, we can see that there's no possible way this would have run with anything other than that particular prompt. And then if we go into the image tool and we look at how that's running, there's this prompt here, and then that prompt is passed straight into the image generator tool. So this would be something you could do to wrap a particular style or to wrap a particular kind of transformation 
uh, I think like textual inversion is, is something that maybe metaphorically could go into this category. If you wanted to make a tool that took a high level concept, but then projected it through a particular lens before generating an image. And again, if you were to run then down on the console here, Python deploy, Dot .py when that image gets sent back in the in the development mode it's just this big gnarly url when the image gets sent back in production when you're hosting it live it'll just send the actual image to the chat room or to the chat client that you are using so hope that's helpful that is how with just a little bit of python you can generate not just an image and send it back uh, with your agent but also generate a particular kind of image uh, by wrapping wrapping the prompt